Hello, my name is Leo from TLAB. Welcome to new episode of Popular Science. In this episode I'll show you galvanic cells. Galvanic or voltaic cell is a device which produces electric current from energy release during redox reaction. Redox means reduction oxidation. In creating ionic compounds, ox oxidation is the loss of electrons and reduction is the gain of electrons. Today I'll show you galvanic cell made with zinc and copper electrodes and acidic electrolyte. In these experiments for one cell we can get typical voltage around 0.9 volt and current is more variable but is 2-1 mA. In all cells I'll use zinc and copper electrodes. Copper for positive and zinc for negative. For these electrodes you can use piece of copper wire and piece of zinc metal. Here we have original electrodes for doing chemical experiments. Also for zinc electrode you can use piece of tin coated with zinc or galvanized nail. Here we also have homemade electrodes. I'll show you three variations of, of galvanic cell. First, I'll show you battery made with acetic acid or vinegar. I'll put this in the baker to hold the electrodes in the place. Now to measure the voltage. Uh, here is voltage about 0 0.9 volts. Second will be with citric acid contained in lemon. To measure voltage. Here we have about 0 0.95 volts. Third will be with phosphoric acid contained in potatoes. To measure the voltage, here we have about 0 0.9 volt. And for the end, you'll see combination of galvanic cells and how they work with digital watch and LED diode.
we can see that digital watch is working and for digital watch we need two cells and we can use combination of lemon and potato also to measure the voltage on these two cells this is about 1.9 volt now you can see that watch showing 12 o'clock and you can see colon blinking for lead diode we need three cells and we can use vinegar, potato and lemon Before that, we'll measure the voltage on these three cells. The voltage is about 2.7 volt. Here it is, light emitting diode working. Now you can get what you have at your home and make your own batteries. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel.